Today we're reviewing and testing out the new Arcteryx Mantis 16 backpack. What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Arcteryx Mantis 16 day pack. This is a 16 liter backpack. It is about 17.72 inches lengthwise and 10.2 inches widthwise. This is made of an FC Zero DWR coated recycled polyester. That's 100% recycled polyester. And the FC Zero DWR coating is basically a fluorocarbon free uh, durable water repellent coating. Fluorocarbon is basically a lubricant used in hydrophobic fabrics or water repellent fabrics. Uh, they say it can ultimately wear off and seep into the environment or even your skin and it has a certain level of toxicity. The materials are also materials that meet the blue sign criteria, which is an initiative to reduce the environmental impact of the textile industry. How dare you! And that may justify the price point for, for some consumers. In my opinion, at $120, this is a no-go for me. The design, it feels a bit cheap. It feels a bit looked over. It's got a decent back panel with some decent padding. These straps, I prefer, me personally, different strokes for different folks, but I prefer, you know, wider, thicker straps, even on a pack of this size. Granted, nine out of 10 times, you're not gonna be putting near enough weight in it for this to even matter. But there may be that one time where you have to carry some weight and this isn't gonna do it. Um, the water bottle holders on the side made of the stretchy material, they're very loose already. They're, very, they're shallow. So if you have a taller water bottle, they've included this design with these cinch straps and you can reposition this down to here and down to here to maybe, to maybe supplement the, the retention of the water bottle holders. But I, I feel like it's an afterthought. I don't like it. I would rather, it would probably take as much time just to go in the bag and get a water bottle. If you have a decent water bottle, it's not gonna leak. So I would just throw it in there. Or on the inside, they do have a hydration carrier. So moving on to the inside, you have this hydration carrier. You have this Velcro strap to hang it from. You have this kind of, I would call this like a, a EDC pocket. Throw your wallet, throw your sunglasses, maybe. It's got a key keeper in there. And that's about it. That's, uh, it's, it's not a lot of space, but again, it's a 16 liter pack. YKK zips. It's made of good materials. It's just the design I'm, I'm personally not a fan of. You have one more pocket on the front and it's, um, it's rather shallow. I would, I would say, you know, put some sunglasses in here. They need to be in a case. It, again, it's not padded, but it's it's very shallow. It's barely enough for sunglasses. Maybe keys. Other than that, not a not a terrible pack. Materials are good. Design is questionable. Personally, for me, it's got a it's got a waist strap. I don't think you'd need it unless you're you know you're running with this pack. You've got all this material and personally for hundred and twenty dollars you can at least give me some strap keepers here you know what i'm saying if you're running with this thing you're gonna be annoyed out of your mind it's got straps hanging everywhere of course you can remove these these the the waist belt is removable but these um that would be an easy fix just a little velcro to make yourself some strap keepers but i don't want to spend 120 dollars and and have to go do a simple modification, take my time and a little bit more of my money to do a simple modification that should have been done in production. That's just me, that's my opinion. Uh, you're welcome to your own different strokes for different folks. Again, for $120, I believe what you're paying for with this backpack is that logo, which is all fine and dandy and to each their own, but this is not going to be a keeper for me. I may pick up another small day pack, but this isn't the one for me. It may be the one for you. These are just my two cents and what I thought of it personally. I've got a 
predilection for backpacks and everyday carry things. I've owned probably hundreds of backpacks. I'm a member of several backpack buy, sell, and trade groups on Facebook. I do have a thing for backpacks and backpack design. And this one misses a, a lot of marks for me. Number one, price point. $120. This, in my opinion, should be a $75 backpack. Maybe $80. It, there's nothing in this pack that justifies a $120 price point. Anyway guys, that's about it. These again are my opinions. If you found this helpful and informative, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more videos like this or outdoor adventure type videos, go ahead and hit subscribe for me. And I will see you guys on the next one.